Hi guys, so for this Eid makeup tutorial, I already have my eyebrows done and for my base I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealing Tan Sand and set it with some Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Soft Peach just to create a nice canvas and then I'm using my Soeva Cocoa Blends eyeshadow palette and with this light brown shade I'm using this as my transition colour and I also went in with the darker brown to kind of deepen the crease a bit more. I'll write the shades um, that I use specifically from the palette in the info box and everything will be linked as always. Then I'm using the Rimmel Glam Eyes Liquid Eyeliner which I've been loving recently um, just to create an outline for the outer wing. Try to do everything as neat as you can even though we are filling the outer bit in. Uh, you still want to make sure that it's neat. It's going to be easier instead of going making it messy if you get what I mean like it's just so much easier Um, so now I'm using the Bobbi Brown Longwear gel eyeliner in black ink and I'm going to be filling in the I would say the outer third of that outline that we created and I'm using the eyeliner to roughly kind of blend it in towards the inner corner of the eye. I'm then using Anastasia eyeshadow in Noir which is my favourite black and I'm just applying that over the gel eyeliner just to kind of set it in place and I'm also using this to kind of fade the black into the inner corner of the eye so there's no harsh lines basically. You want to do this by really using little kind of wavy motions like I'm doing right now and the more you do that the more it kind of fade it in. Then I used a soft peach from the Anastasia palette again and I mixed it in with the palest colour in the Zoeva palette uh, which I'll write in the info box but I mixed those two colours to apply this on my lid but to be honest you can use any light coloured matte eyeshadow or even a glittery colour if you feel like. I just preferred a matte, really matte white kind of colour. And I also did go in with some concealer to clean up that line and make it thinner as it goes in towards the inner corner of the eye. And here I'm just kind of blending the white and the black together so that there's no harsh lines. Um, and really take your time with that, really like blend the two together. You really want a grey in between the white and the black so it creates a nice transition. I did use the eyeliner from Rimmel again to do a line from the inner corner to the outer corner. You don't need to do a wing because obviously the wing is already done that <laughs> done so um yeah i also did go in with the transition colors that we use from the zoeva palette and touched up on top of the black just to deepen the crease bit a bit more and add some more color and i also use some tart shape tape concealer again to really sharpen that wing bit and clean it up really as well now i'm using the glam crystals by collection I believe this colour is funk but I will write it in the info box, I don't know how many times I've said that but I felt like something was missing from the eye look so I went in with this glitter and I feel like it really made the look but you don't have to do this, you can totally skip this step. Now I'm going in with some mascara, I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash which I haven't used in so long and I'm just quickly applying some mascara and I am going to be using some lashes and I thought I'll go in with my Classy Lashes UK Lashes in Claudia, it's like my fave and I just applied that on and I cleaned all the excess powder that fell on my face ready to apply our base, that rhymes <laughs> um, I'm using the Rimmel Perfection Match, no, Match Perfection Foundation Gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I will have a review. I was It was supposed to go up today, but I literally had no time to film it, but it will be up this week, I promise. Um, so I just blended all of that out and then I'm going in with some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again and <laughs> apply that under my eyes. You might think that I did put a lot, but I just like to apply it that way. You don't have to apply that much, but I just really like the result it gives. This concealer does go a long way with just like a tiny bit, but... I always go overboard but I just I just wanted the under eyes to look super flawless and I did go in with a sponge wedge kind of thing from Boots and blended all that in and I also did set my under eyes with some Kat Von D loose setting powder and now I'm setting my whole face with some MAC mineralized skin finish in medium tan love this powder I'll try to find some dupes and try more powders for you guys but this one's like my favorite 
is the only one I'm using to be honest. For bronzer, I'm using the Topshop bronzer in Salute and really like chiseling them cheeks. I don't have cheekbones so I'm trying to make some and I'm using the MAC 135 brush which is so good for bronzing it's like the only brush I used lately and then I kind of brushed off the excess powder that I used from the Kat Von D loose setting powder and the Kat Von D powder is so good at like brighten brightening the under eye now I'm using the Nip and Fab Stroboscopic palette I think that's how you say it and I pointed to the two shades that I was using but seriously this highlight palette is so good and I believe they're on off at the moment I think they've been reduced like to £10 so I'll leave the link to them in the info box I believe it's from Superdrug but yeah it's on offer so make sure to grab them if you want to try it now I did go with the transition colours that we used in the beginning from the Zoeva palette and buffed that on the lower lash line and I used noir again and buffed that closer to the lash line so you could kind of see the transition colours but it creates a nice faded kind of look between the browns and the black and then I create a little line in the inner corner of the eye as you can see here and in that little gap in the tear duct thingy, thingy if that makes any sense I just added some NYX white liquid eyeliner um, just to like I don't know open the eyes up and it just added to the look I just really like the way this looks so yeah and I also did apply some mascara to my lower lashes and then the lightest color from the nip and fab highlighter palette I used to highlight my inner corner and then I'm using the nip and fab liquid lipstick in cinnamon I've been using this a lot but I thought it was the perfect color um, to, for this look but I wish I went with something lighter but I don't think I did have anything lighter but I still liked it in the end you can go with something lighter I feel like the lighter nude you have I feel like it would go so well with this look so yeah that's the end of this tutorial I know this look may seem a bit complicated but trust me if you just do a bit of practicing just keep trying and you will be able to do it I promise you um, so yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more e-tutorials let me know and I will see you next time bye oh, nah. I've been working all week no lie.